What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I got a bunch of things to show you that I've sold on eBay. These are all the types of things you can look for out in the wild, find them, sell them, make some money. But I got over 80 of them so let's jump right into it. Check out this awesome sale. This is a Vanna White vintage leather jacket. It is new with tags. I picked this up at a rummage sale for only one dollar. I sold it for eighty dollars plus shipping. I believe it took about six months to sell. Sold this this Pyrex dish, I got this at a Goodwill for $6.99, I sold it for $29.99 plus shipping, so my profit in the end will be right around $20-22 bucks. Took about five days to sell after I listed it. Here's some really good flips on these 8-track cassettes I got at a garage sale. I paid a quarter a piece for these. I just bought a few of these there because they were decent bands. Uh, turns out one of them is actually very rare and valuable. The Bruce Springsteen here, it, you can see they have a lot of damage on them where they're untested. So I didn't know what they would actually sell for. I decided to do an auction. I started the auction at $10. Ended up selling for $20.50, so I'm thrilled with that one. In much better condition, I probably could have sold that for $50. Then we got this Kiss Animal Eyes. And this one is very rare. Uh, in mint condition, I would probably price this $500, and I bet it would sell. In this condition, untested, uh, you can see it's just the label's not good at all. Who knows if it works? I started the auction at $10 and it ended up selling for $153 plus shipping. It's actually going to Canada, so buyer paid about $20, $25 to have it shipped there. It's a shame it wasn't in better condition because this is what you would consider a holy grail find, I guess. Uh, it's unfortunate I didn't know that when I bought it. I just thought, oh, some nice rock and metal 8-tracks. Maybe I can lot these together and make a few bucks at a quarter. Sure, I'll buy it. Still, a quarter and $153. I'll take it any day. So here is a great flip, this Bernina sewing machine i got this at a garage sale i paid 100 dollars for it and it had a bunch of the feet and other pieces that came with it i've been selling some of the parts and i got about 500 dollars in parts i've already made my money back on the sewing machine and i ended up selling the sewing machine for 500 dollars plus shipping so in the end i'm gonna make about a thousand dollars on the sewing machine once everything sells so extremely happy that i took a chance on it so these brooks launch seven shoes got these for five dollars i believe at goodwill sold them for 29 dollars plus shipping so I picked up these I Survived books at a Salvation Army. New sealed set, and I paid $12 for them, sold them for $60 plus shipping. Uh, took about a year and a half to sell these, but definitely worth it. Sold these Angry Birds soap dispenser and toothbrush holder, shower hooks. Got about $3 a piece in these, picked them up at Goodwill. Sold them for $25 plus shipping for a total of $41.13. Sold these New Balance shoes. Got these at a Goodwill for $5. And I sold them for $23 plus shipping. Here's a Panasonic 5-disc CD player and speakers with remote. Found this at a Goodwill for $25. And I sold it for $115 plus shipping. Sold in less than two weeks. And yes, I am going to package this. I'm going to put a bubble wrap and protect it very well. It's just how I stored it in this box. I'm not shipping it just like this because it probably wouldn't survive the trip. But in the end, it ended up being great profit. Here is a pair of Ortho Feet shoes. Got these at Goodwill for $5. Actually got three pairs of different ones that day. Sold these for $39 plus shipping. Here are a couple of Betty Boop toys. Got these at a garage sale years ago. And I mostly bought them because of the price. I believe the motorcycle was like $2 and this one was like a dollar. The motorcycle one has been open. This one's still new some of the voices work some of them don't i think the motorcycle works and the voice doesn't this one's voice does so they had some problems they ended up in the death pile for years but i'm finally getting around to listing them i just listed them for 25 dollars plus shipping because i wanted them to move and based on what i paid for them i still made about 20 bucks so i'll take it here's one of these nativity scene figures picked up a bunch of these at goodwill for 12.99 sold this one for 20 bucks so this one pretty much pays for all of them from here on out it's just profit here's a pair of these adidas superstar top tens sold these for 40 dollars plus shipping and I paid $5 for them at a Goodwill. Sold this Youth Mizuno baseball glove. Got this at a Goodwill for $2. And I sold it for $18. It's not huge profits, but these things are easy to sell and ship. Sold this pair of Brooks shoes. Got these at Goodwill for $5. And I sold them for $20 
plus shipping. So this amazing Nike glove got this for only $2 at Goodwill and I sold it for $58 plus shipping for a total of $69.78. It was listed for about a month. So the Bernina sewing machine foot. Now I bought one of these sewing machines, pretty valuable one in a garage sale for $100 and a bunch of these pieces were with it. These feet are actually really good money. This whole little tote here <laughs> is valued at about $400. I sold this number four here, which I sold for $20, which is about the lowest valued one in here. But I already made the money back on the sewing machine, so that's paid for. Sold this Mecha Godzilla. I got this at Goodwill for $3.99. Sold it for $30 plus shipping. It only took a week. We can have to sell. Sold these Lamax Christmas figures. I believe I paid $2 a piece for these at a Goodwill. Sold them for $25 and they're going to Spain. Sold this poly tubing sealer, impulse sealer, got this at a Salvation Army. Salvation Army sticker was on there, it said $17.99, I think I got it half off though. Either way, I sold it for $120 plus shipping, so made a decent amount of profit on that. Here is a Toshiba VCR with remote, paid $7 for this at a Goodwill, tested it, it's working great, sold it for $48 plus shipping, it took two days to sell. So I sold a bunch of these Time Life Western books, we have to ship these in two boxes it's just too heavy to put everything in one box of course i'm shipping a media mail so it's not going to be that bad buyer did pay 40 some dollars for shipping so that should probably cover it but i sold them for 89.99 plus shipping paid 20 dollars for them at a garage sale happy to see them go they've taken up a lot of space i believe i had them priced like 120 for a while and just recently marked them down to 89.99 and they sold actually sold twice uh so i bought them last night and then had an order cancellation request so uh, I accepted that and then someone else bought them <laughs> right after that. So apparently $89.99 is the sweet spot. I'll take it. Free up this space. So this Vanguard backpack, I paid a dollar for this at a rummage sale and I sold it for $35 plus shipping. Some of these camera bags are really good. Here's a couple pairs of shoes. I sold these Nike Air shoes. Got these at a garage sale. I believe it was $25 is what I paid for them. I sold them for $85 plus shipping. Well, they've been listed for about nine months. A lot of people watching them. A lot of people trying to lowball me. But I held off and got my $85. So I'm happy with that. Then I sold these rare Skechers D-Light shoes. Really cool pink design. And actually a subscriber of the channel bought these. So I appreciate that and I hope you enjoy them. Sold these for $35 plus shipping. Paid $5 for them at a Goodwill. So this is a bit of a mystery. This is a power adapter i found it on my recliner i don't know where it came from no clue at all i looked up the model number on it and saw that it went with a spinal stem i'm not even sure what that is exactly there's only one comp on ebay but one sold for 15 dollars, so i just put mine on there for 20 dollars, and well it sold within 24 hours for 20 dollars it's just confusing to me because I really don't know where this came from. Hopefully it didn't go with something I was selling. I can't think of anything I had. Maybe it fell out, but you know, I, I, it's sold now. I sold it for $20. No idea where it came from. Here's a couple of these Bernina sewing machine feet. Got these in a sewing machine lot. Sold this one for $20 and this one for $25 or vice versa. One of them for $25, one of them for $20. So not bad. Got these Norelco shaver heads. Picked up two of these at a rummage sale for 50 cents a piece. So I got a dollar into them. Uh, sold one here for $40. I love finding these things because they always sell and usually get them cheap. Sold two more of these Bernina sewing machine feet. Sold one for $40 and one for $30. So I picked up this wig at a Goodwill for $5. I ended up selling it for $50. Plus shipping. Don't know much about these, but it ends up being a pretty good sale in the end. Would buy again, that's for sure. Took, I don't know, four months to sell maybe. I sold this vintage Berryman hat. I don't remember exactly where I got this. Probably a garage sale, a rummage sale, very cheap. I sold it for $25, so nice little flip. Here is a Grimlock Transformers figure. I got this in a Transformers lot I bought last year. Paid $900 for everything. I think I've made my money back by now, and I sold this one for $40 plus shipping. And I still got literally hundreds of Transformers to sell. Here's this Max Living Spinal Care Lumbar Kit thing. 
<laughs> Got it at Goodwill for $10. I ended up selling it for $50 plus shipping. Might have been able to get a little bit more, but I just wanted this big thing gone and I didn't know how long it was going to sit because there wasn't a lot of reliable comps. Happy it sold within about a week and a half. Here is a sports armband radio sealed. I paid, I think, 2 or $3 for this at Goodwill. I sold it for $15. Got some of these sump pumps at a Home Depot. I paid $50 a piece for them. Got five or six, and I sold this one for $130 plus shipping. Here are some Justin boots. These came from a Goodwill. I paid $5 for them. And I sold them for $50 plus shipping. So nice boot flip here. Sold the second pair of these ProPay shoes that I got at Goodwill. I found two pairs the exact same, the exact same size. Size 17 3E. Very big shoes. Paid $5 for them, and I sold them for $30 plus shipping. Got a dollar into this America and the Bible DVD set. Got this at a thrift store for $1. I sold it for $15. Here's a sealed Fast and the Furious model. Got this at Goodwill for $5.99. I sold it for $50 plus shipping. New sealed stuff, just easy to sell. Here's a couple pairs of shoes. I sold these Under Armour shoes or boots. I guess you would classify them as for $40 plus shipping. I got these Nike shoes. I sold for $20 plus shipping. Paid $5 a piece for these at Goodwill, I believe. Not 100% sure on these Nike shoes. May have paid less at a rummage sale or something. Regardless, good profit. Got this zero water filter at a Home Depot. I don't remember exactly what I paid for this somewhere around seven or ten dollars sold it for thirty dollars plus shipping it's going out of the country so I paid over a hundred dollars to get it sold four of these Brita stream filters two packs I paid I think it was $2.99 a piece for these at Goodwill I got sixty dollars for them great return on my investment sold some of these vintage Fisher Price Knights and I believe these are the ones that came from a Goodwill I paid like $2.99 for the bag they're in amazing condition I was able to sell these 10 figures for $50. I've sold them multiple times in the past. Anytime I find them at garage sales or thrift stores, I pick them up. Here is a two-hearted ale cooler. I got this at a rummage sale. I paid $5 for it. Got it last year. It has finally sold for $65 plus shipping, so a great flip on this. Here is a Sony DVD VCR combo. I don't remember where I picked this up at this point. Got $20 or less in it, almost certainly, and I sold it for $110 plus shipping. So here is this Xerox drum cartridge. I picked this up at a garage sale. I forgot it even existed. I only paid a quarter or 50 cents for it. I bought it blind because some of these are worth an absolute fortune. They go to certain machines that a business uses. They can pay up to $1,000 for certain cartridges. So of course when it's 50 cents, I'm picking it up. However, it wasn't great. <laughs> I ended up selling it for $10 plus shipping. And uh, I guess it sat for about two years. So happy to see it go. Probably wouldn't pick up if I actually scanned it and checked it but like I said I just bought it blind and just ended up listing it. Here is the Bernina walking foot that came with a sewing machine I got with a bunch of pieces. I've been selling the pieces. already sold the sewing machine and a bunch of other stuff. I'm well into the profit. Once everything sells I'll be making right around a thousand dollars profit on the deal. Sold this walking foot for one hundred and ten dollars plus shipping. Here's a couple shoe sales. I sold the Solomon shoes. I don't remember where I got them. What I paid for them. I'm sure it was five dollars or less. Sold them for twenty three dollars plus shipping. And I got these Ariat boots. I got these at Goodwill for five dollars and I sold these for forty five dollars plus shipping. Here is a Max Living dual purpose CTU vertical pull adapter. Got this at Goodwill for seven dollars and ninety nine cents. And I sold it for $40 plus shipping. Had a larger thing also I got from Max Living and it sold as well. They sold quicker than I thought. Thought they might sit a while. Took about three weeks to sell. Here's one of these first gear moving van models. I got these at Goodwill and I, I, don't know, I got four of them I believe for about $7.99. Sold this one for $50 plus shipping. Here's a pair of Reebok shoes. I got these at Goodwill. Kind of cool looking. Paid $5 for them and I sold them for $50 plus shipping. Here are some 1989 Batman Converse shoes. This was a local buy. I paid $15 for these if I remember correctly. Unfortunately they do have a little bit of damage right here. One of the grommets have come off. Still I was able to sell them for uh, $35 plus shipping. Now, they took about eight months to sell I believe so I'll take the profits. Here are three pieces to the 1994 Fisher Price pirate ship. Got one of the pirate ships for $5 at a garage sale. Been parting it out. Already made 
good amounts of money. Here's some more. $17 is what I sold these for. I picked up this Ultra Sound Electric Toothbrush at Goodwill for $6.99. It is new. Now, I went to price this. I was planning on just pricing it $50. There's no real comps. I thought it was just kind of an off-brand type thing. But as I was doing some research, I found a YouTube video, and I was wondering what the price was, so I watched that, and they mentioned that they bought that toothbrush for $200. I'm like, whoa, I can't price this 50. So I went ahead and tried $130 plus shipping and it sold within 24 hours. So I probably could have priced it even more. I also saw on Amazon, there was another brand of electric toothbrush that was ultrasound that was selling for around 200. Also, there was even another one that was selling for like 30. So I didn't know if the ultrasound made it anything special. I've never really heard of it before, but I guess keep an eye out for this toothbrush. $130 plus shipping. Here are some deck fasteners. I got these quite a while ago, maybe two years ago. It seems like at Home Depot. Forget what I paid for them exactly, but I sold all six here for $140 plus shipping. Here's a small sale. Paid $2 for these soccer cards at a Goodwill. And I sold them for $13. Here is a giant Power Rangers figure. I got this at a garage sale this past year. I'm not the biggest Power Rangers fan. If I was, I would just keep this and display it. If it was Ninja Turtles or something, like a giant Krang like that one, just large like this, I would, ooh, that would be so cool. Anyway, I got this at a garage sale for $5. I was expecting to sell this for around $60 plus shipping. What I didn't notice was he has some damage right there. Uh, so I marked it down. I, I priced it $30 plus shipping and it has sold. Still a great piece. Pretty cool find. Going to be a little bit of a pain to ship. Buyer paid, uh, I think, $23 to get this. Here's another Bernina sewing machine foot. He's been selling like hotcakes. This one sold for $25. Here is a new open thermostat. Got this at Goodwill for $5.99. I sold it for $30 plus shipping, ending me with about $20 profit. Here's a pair of worn down Jordans. Got these at Goodwill. Paid $5 for them, and I sold them for $20 plus shipping. Too bad they weren't in better condition. Here is a pair of Bose speakers. Got these at a rummage sale for $5. And I sold them for $40 plus shipping. Here is a North Face jacket. Got this at Goodwill. Paid $5 for it. I sold it for $45 plus shipping. So great flip. Sold these framed puzzles. Vintage. Got these locally for $5. And I sold them for $25 plus shipping. So these Maxell DVD-RW camcorder disc and actually grabbed these at a rummage sale very quickly. I thought they were sealed and usually I sell this stuff on Amazon for pretty good money sealed. However, they are open and actually missing four of the disc. Still, I was able to sell them on eBay for $16.99. So I paid a dollar for them and I'm going to make at least $5 profit on them, get my dollar back make some money so it's all good in the end here are some asic shoes and i don't remember where exactly i got these i pick up so many similar pairs of shoes i got somewhere between one dollar and five dollars into them i don't see myself paying more than five for these but i sold them for thirty dollars plus shipping i picked up a food processor at goodwill i paid 5.99 for it and i'm parting it out sold these parts for thirty dollars plus shipping so that propels me into the profits once i sell the rest there'll be even more on top of that here is a fireplace log set i got these from home depot I actually was going to use them in my home they didn't fit my fireplace but i was able to sell them on ebay and actually make a little bit of money seems like i was making about 20 or 25 dollars profit i forget what i paid for them exactly i sold them for 80 dollars plus shipping so probably paid around 20 or 30 dollars for them something like that this is big and bulky i'm glad to see it go here's some build-a-bear skis and skates got these in a box of build-a-bear stuff at a Goodwill. Don't remember a lot of the details. I think I paid like $20 for the box and it was just mixed stuff. Seems like there's a Star Wars set in there or something. Anyway, I sold these for $20 plus shipping. Definitely made profit on that box. Here is a Swoops helicopter. This is the second one of these I've sold this year. I uh, found this one for $3.99 at Goodwill. I sold it for $30 plus shipping. If you happen to find it with the vehicles that go inside of this thing, then it's even more money. Here's a couple of older books, Treasury of True and Post Treasury. You know, I can't remember where I got these exactly. Probably three or four years ago, I picked them up. Definitely don't have much into them. I sold them for $18. 
happy to see him go. Here is a Hitachi VCR, no remote. Got this at a garage sale for about $2. Sold it for $35 plus shipping. But there it is, everybody. There's some of my sales from the past month. It's not everything I've sold, but it is some of the best stuff, some of the more interesting stuff. If you learned something, please hit that like button for me. If you didn't learn anything, please hit that like button for me. Maybe next time. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.